we continue with the, uh, the amazing miracles of the Prophet Muhammad and one of them today is splitting the moon uh, Prophet Muhammad he have a very unique uh, miracles and uh, uh, you know there's no proof of them and uh, when you read them you get dizzy and today we are going to face one of those in the front of us there's an article and always I'm going to show you article about Muslims claim so we can have the other point of the story the miracle of splitting the moon and they are quoting for us the Quran chapter uh, uh, ch chapter of the moon verse number one the hour and the judgment is nigh and the moon cleft ascender in fact this sign in the front of us the Muslim they claim it's a sign this is a sign that of Muhammad is a false prophet because Muhammad he claimed that splitting the moon is a sign of a judgment day and when you say a sign of a judgment judgment day and you say them the, the judgment day is near you are prophesying that the judgment day is near but this has happened for 1300 years ago that sign of the moon splitting isn't it a sign that the judgment day started Muhammad who he claimed to be a prophet always he believed that the eclipse of the moon is a sign of a judgment day and this is what Muhammad talking about and the rest is nothing but a fabrication if we go in the hadith and this is a sahih hadith as you see and we can show it in many other books not necessarily in this one the sun eclipsed during the time of the messenger of Allah and the Prophet commanded the caller to call out for a prayer uh, that prayer was about the beginning of the creation so uh, they gathered and they formed rows okay but why why the Prophet uh, he is doing that because there's different hadith it says and I will see if I can find it I just actually posted just a few minutes ago for people here that Muhammad he thought that the uh, uh, the eclipse is a sign of a judgment judgment day so Muhammad always he fear that judgment day is about uh, 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 you know about the eclipse if somebody have the text please post the link for the uh, for the eclipse where Muhammad he thought that this is the judgment day uh, that will make it faster for me from looking for it let me see there's tons of stories about Muhammad always he make him actually he made a special prayer for the eclipse uh, here we go. I found it. The sun eclipse during the time of Messenger of Allah. He stood the great, like he is very scared, in fear, as you see. And it, that it might be the doomsday. So Muhammad, when he speaks in the Quran, in chapter of the moon, verse number one, that the moon split and the judgment day has come, or is near, because he believed that the eclipse is the moon splitting that is a doom that doomsday and here we notice muhammad he exposed himself by many things because how muhammad expect that this is the day of judgment yet he said that the day of judgment will come after the dajjal come and after the sun appear from the west and after the 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 just says that the beast will come and uh, uh the roman will i mean all those things that did not happen but yet he believed that those or this eclipse is a sign of a judgment day and it is the doom day as you see and he was terrified and he was scared uh, so when the Muslims they claim that the moon is splitting is a sign and a miracle of Allah messenger that's absolutely doing the opposite direction proving to us that Muhammad is a false prophet if we go in the Quran and we read the verses the hour, the judgment day is night and the moon is cleft ascender. This is a poetry Muhammad he copy from a, a Christian poet man. His name is Imr al-Qais. 
which we can find here in the front of us. Tanya Tisa'a wa Shaqqa al-Qamar an ghazalin sada qalbi wa nafar. If we compare all those lines you see in the front of you is verses Muhammad he took and he put it as it is in the Quran. From just a few uh, line of point, look how much Muhammad he copy and he put it in the Quran. If we compare between this verse here and uh, let us see uh, this one. Even if you don't speak Arabic, you will notice immediately how Muhammad copying word by word. This is the Quran, as sa ah. the first word is as sa ah. This is the first word in the poetry, as sa ah. One shaqqa, letter wa, letter wa. Wa in Arabic mean end. In shaqqa, which means split. In shaqqa. Al-Qamar. Al-Qamar. What is the different Muhammad? He changed the word danat, which means came by, close by, and iqtarabat, which means came by or close by. Exactly the same thing. And the rest goes for all the other uh, point we see in the front of us. So Muhammad, not only he making a false prophecy because judgment day did not come, and the moon never split, and nobody in the world believe in such a madness, and the Muslim, they will show you a crack in the moon or let us say a valley, which all over the earth, you know, the Grand Canyon is one of the biggest, but doesn't mean that the earth is a split ascender. And if the if the if the if the moon really a cleft, as the as the Quran says, that would mean the moon should be destroyed by now, and even the earth, because one at least one part of the moon will be grabbed by the earth and that will destroy the earth. Uh, a big rock, you know, like in a size of maybe a, a high building can destroy the earth if it's fell from the sky on the earth. So what about the half of the moon? Because that will generate the energy and power of more than maybe a billion uh, uh, nuke. So obviously, this is a very false statement Muhammad he is coming with in the Quran. And it is a false statement claiming that the judgment day has come, but yet nothing happened. Uh, in the same time, this will be a contradiction for other verse of the Quran. Because the Muslims, when they claim that the Muhammad, he uh, split the moon, there's a verse came after it, it says, that Allah, he ref refrained from sending miracles. So how Allah in the Quran, in chapter 17, verse number 59, says we refrain from sending signs, and then the Qur'an's claim that the moon split is a sign of Muhammad, uh, if Muhammad. And the, the funny, they say, that Muhammad is the one who split the moon. But if you read the verse in the Qur'an, it says, the judgment day is near and the moon is split. It doesn't say anything about Muhammad. It doesn't say that even Allah, he split the, judgment, the, the, the moon. And here, this verse claim that Allah refrained, totally refrained. You know what refrain means. He refrained from sending signs only because of men of former generation treated them as false. So if Muhammad, he have a sign already and he split the moon, how Allah, he says, after that, we refrain from sending signs. And how after that, the Arab and everybody around Muhammad keep saying, give us one sign, one proof, one miracle that you are a prophet. Chapter 2, verse number 118, just to show you some of them. They keep saying to him, why your God, Allah, don't give a sign? Why your God, Allah, don't give a sign? Muhammad never have a sign. And the Quran says that Allah refrained from giving sign. And here Muhammad in chapter 2, verse number 145, making a false prophecy that if you give a sign to the people of the book, None of them will be leaving you. But Muslims, they say to us that Christians and Jews convert to Islam every day, or at least uh, Christians maybe. So how Muhammad predict that even if you come with signs, the Jews and the Christians will never believe in you. And, you know, the list goes on. All, all the Quran is full of requests of people asking him, 
why your God don't give you a sign? Why Muhammad did not say, will I split the moon for you? Yesterday I made a blind sea as an example. But Muhammad, he never said, uh, I never did. He agreed with them. And he says, well, my God, Allah, he refrained from sending signs because people of former generation they did not believe in them, which is false because we Christians believe in the miracles of all the former generation prophets. We believe in Moses, we believe in Elijah, we believe in uh, uh, all the prophets. So how Muhammad, he says such a thing. And as you see, the Quran is full of requests by Arab challenging Muhammad to give one sign, just one. And Muhammad could not produce even one. I will keep it short as we promise you. And maybe after two hours from now, I will make another short and a short video. As I said, I will make many of them. So you guys, you can download and you can share with your friends. And if you like to learn more about Islam, don't forget, you can get my books from Amazon, uh, uh, whatever country you are, Europe, Spain, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Spain, uh, uh, Germany uh, whatever you can you can always search for my books in Amazon because Amazon have different websites for their books and you can get my books from there if you like to learn about this cult and how they try to fool you with false interpretation and translation of the Quran claiming that the Quran have miracles when this book has nothing to do with anything called miracles in fact it is the opposite so follow with us and uh, download the videos feel free to download and share with your friends they are free made for you to share and to watch and to learn thank you very much christ is lord and islam is false see you soon bye bye